Uh, Minnesota find Vikings defensive tackle Jaleel Johnson. Well, soon to be former Vikings defensive tackle Jaleel Johnson. Uh, it was a 2017 fourth round pick coming out of Iowa and was kind of high on him. Like the potential certainly was there, uh, but he was one of many uh, Vikings uh, defensive players, especially defensive linemen who massively underachieved this season. Uh, I was in the final year of his rookie deal and it's probably going to be like, deuces right uh but yeah the, the former hawkeye decided to trash the vikings fans on his way out the door it's just like it, it's like farting and then leaving a room that's exactly what julio johnson did to the vikings fan base so uh he quote tweeted uh, a tweet from desmond king uh a former iowa teammate uh former charger and then current titan uh quote uh, and to the Chargers fam, I appreciate you too, uh, but the negativity and saying uh, that I'm trash is uncalled for. Uh, God don't like, uh, believe you will get yours. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Julio quote tweeted this. Uh, you should hear some of these Vikings fans. LOL. Uh, you a baller, bro. F them. Right. So now, yes. Parts of the fan base are terrible. Parts of every single fan base are terrible. Like the ones, you know the ones, the ones who at players on social media, the ones who complain about their fantasy teams, uh, the, the one who wish harm and swear and cuss and threats and all this uh, horrible stuff, right? They, they're the lowest of the low. They're, they're scum. They are, right? But that is the extreme minority of the minority. That is like the 1% of the bottom 1%, right? So what you're generally calling negativity uh, is passionate, engaged fans who want excellence, who want you to perform at the peak uh, of what you're capable of, help this team win, win a couple ball games. I don't know. Crazy, right? Uh, and then if they're not getting it, well, all of a sudden, all that negativity, and then you just lump that in with, with the jabronis who at you and say terrible things like, oh, they're all the same. No, no, they're not. Uh, oh, so I'm sorry that fans were upset about a one and five football team who massively underachieved. I'm sorry about the worst, the worst, most feckless pass rush in the NFL, especially interior pass rush. That's your department, man. And also, I'm sorry that this defense gave up 475 points and fans are like, hey, where's the defense? Why are you hating? Uh, ah. Also, your run defense uh, gave up 2,151 yards on the ground. Bro, you gave up a Eric Dickerson. Like, are you kidding me? And also, you specifically. Jaleel Johnson was PFF's 205th graded defensive interior player this year at a 35.3. They only graded 214 players. Right? So, he also, seven pressures on 333 pass, uh, pass rush reps. A .02 pressure rate. You, you need four of that to get a DUI. Are you kidding me? Right. And, and oh, I'm sorry that the Vikings had so much faith in you taking over the three-tech spot uh, that they didn't draft a three-tech in the 2020 draft, as well as your your fellow uh, defensive material brethren, Shamar Stephan. Like, once Michael Pierce opted out, deuces, like, oh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We don't need to get any help on the inside and just whoosh. And, and also, so the worst of the worst. Uh, so this thirsty douchebag just kissing ass here like... Uh, I doubt any of them have played a snap since high school. And then Jaleel Johnson, of course, re re responded. Uh, you're right, actually. Cool. So, apparently, you need to have played in the league, in the National Football League, to know that giving up six rushing touchdowns to Alvin Kamara on Christmas Day is... Oh, bad. It's actually bad. Weird, right? Uh, apparently, you need to be a first ballot Hall of Famer on the defensive line to know that you're getting out leveraged uh, and the guard is standing you straight up on every single play and then walking your ass backwards, huh? Uh, apparently, you need to be John F. and Randall to know that getting zero penetration on passing downs and getting blown four yards off the line of scrimmage uh, on runs is not great, huh? Apparently, you need to know that. Hmm? Or at least play Division One. Yeah, yeah, that's so crazy, right? Uh, Jaleel, like we said, is in the final year of his rookie deal. Hank will be back. Now, now, the zero percent chance that he's going to be back. Well, watch him actually like resign like a five year deal because Spielman. <sighs> but uh, again, uh, he's probably going to be gone. Taking a parting shot at a fan base that pays your salary, it's not a good look. It's not a great look. Like if fans didn't care, that means there's no TV eyeballs, no tickets in a normal season, no merchandise, no money. So you can't have it both ways. And then grouping in the absolute scum of the scum of the scum with fans who just want better. I mean, no, that's stupid. That, that's idiocy. And, and also, you know who didn't have this sort of level of negativity? Sheldon Richardson, Sharif Floyd, Kevin Williams, Pat Williams, John Randall, Henry Thomas, Keith Malad, Alan Page, Gary Larson. You know why? Because they did their effing job. Right? So if you want unconditional love, get a dog. Right? So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't have it both ways. But, you know, bye. Go underperform somewhere else. Preferably Green Bay or Chicago. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. But...
other than that, I have no thoughts. But anyways, Julio Johnson just taking a shot at the Vikings fan base. Woo, woo. Okay. Okay. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. If you want to support that work, post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.